This is a real common area of where you get air leaks, bad insulation. Hey guys, Brad here with Skyline Construction. And today we're gonna to be looking at a handy little tool I use. It is a thermal imaging camera by Fleur. And this is the C2 model. This little guy I use when we're doing flood jobs and you need to see if there's water damage in behind a wall or drywall, floors. Um, this is such a great tool to have if you're into that type of work. And we are on occasion, so I had to buy one of these cameras just so I could make my job a lot easier, but also provide pictures, uh, temperatures, uh, images, all that type of stuff for insurance companies. And um, this thing has definitely been well worth the money. These are quite expensive. They're usually around, I think, 800 bucks Canadian. Might have to check that number, but we'll put some links down below. Um, but yeah, this camera will will kind of show you some some images on a wall, just sort of cold spots and hot spots. But uh, very very basic camera. Essentially, it's got a screen on the back, and it's a digital screen. It will show sort of in the middle. I'm pointing it at me right now, but it says, "I am." 10 degrees on my jacket here. You can see my hand. It's kind of hard to tell because we're outside. But essentially, uh, all you do is you can snap a picture and it'll take two photos. One of the actual image and one of the temperature and sort of the watermark or the heat mark or whatever that might be. So such a great camera to have. Um, there are other models out there that are a lot more advanced than this. So if, if you're in the industry of, let's say, um, remediation, um, you might want a better model. But for myself, where maybe we're doing a flood job once a year, or once every two years, this tool is just really quick, really handy. We can kind of trace the water quickly, find out where it's going, and, and get to it before it starts to spread some mold and, and all that nasty stuff. So love this camera. Uh, let's go on inside and take a look at um, some walls and see where, where we're missing some insulation. Okay, so here we are inside just looking at a exterior wall and it's reading about 17 degrees Celsius. So if we start to go up towards the ceiling, this is a real common area of where you get air leaks, bad insulation, so you can see we're at about 11 to 10.9 degrees and then up onto the attic we're up to 17 so it's consistent with our wall um, but you can kind of see how you get that color just discoloration up there and then it just calibrates every once in a while so then i'll scroll down just to the top of this door which is another area you can see the air leaking around the door. So we're at about 14, 13 degrees in there. And then behind the casings looking pretty good. So that's a common area for your air leakage. Um, and then if I want to take a picture, it goes like that. And then there's all these different modes down here. So if you own one of these, there's all different types of settings and calibrations um, that you can kind of scroll through. It has onboard uh, memory storage, so you can just hook this up to your computer. You can email and print all these documents to, to yourself or, or to a client. But um, you can see up here in the corner, pretty cold, 13 degrees. This inside corner here, it's not bad, but it's not great. So a lot of the time that's just the studs. Um, I'm gonna see if I can switch through different modes. Yeah, thermal modes. I don't play with this enough. Um, yeah, just different types of modes. But we're gonna leave some links down below so you can kinda take a look at them for yourself on Amazon or wherever we can find them. And um, we'll also have some specs down there too for you. As you can see, this is a super handy tool. Um, if you're trying to find air leaks or, or if you're trying to do an assessment for somebody's house, like even if you're an inspector, 
you can kind of tell people where they're missing insulation. You don't have to crawl up into the attic. Um, it's, it's just such a great tool to have. And you can go back to images and then you can kind of scroll through your different images. These are just different things that I've taken pictures of over the years. Uh, that was some heat loss that we were getting on a wall. Um, yeah, just different problem areas on, on different houses that we were working with. All right, guys, so that's my review on the Fleur C2. Uh, we'll leave some specs down below and some links to uh, purchase this item. But uh, yeah, if you like the review, please leave us a like, subscribe, hit that notify bell. And I'd love to hear from you on uh, this product, if you have it or something similar to it, what you use, where you've used it, how it's kind of got you out of a, a bad situation with, you know, mold and water and all that good stuff. So yeah, until next time, guys, keep on crushing it. We'll catch you later.